Okay, my superstar artist, we are going to start drawing Simba. Okay, Simba's one of my favourite characters. I hope it's one of yours. We're going to start by drawing Simba's eye, this eye. Okay, so the first thing we do is you find your page should be portrait, so the narrow side's facing you, and somewhere in the middle of the page. So make sure, if you're not sure, about two or three hands going up and one hand going in. And the first dot we're going to do is this corner of his eye. Okay, so you're going to put a dot in the corner of his eye. I've got his image underneath because that helps us draw it and it helps me just do it a little bit quicker for you, okay? I drew him last night. I love drawing him. Right, so you've got one dot and you're going to put, I put, I've got two, but I'm an adult. So maybe you put three, three fingers and another dot. Maybe try and make it a little bit higher up. And then you join those dots with a little soft smile, a very soft smile. So it's a line, but it's got a bit of a curve. Then you put your fingers on top of that curve. I would put again three, I'm doing two, and I put my dot above my fingers. It's in the middle of the line, can you see? And now I'm going to join my edge of my line to my dot as if I was drawing a n, a n, round, and then I come back down again. And I've got a lovely eye shape, yes? Now we're going to do inside his eye. You're going to do the bottom first. So you're going to draw a very small, it's long because it goes from here to here, but it's not big. It's just a tiny number line jump, just like that. Okay, now we're going to draw his pupil, so the black of his eye. So for that, come in about maybe a pencil or a pinky finger and do a little mark. And then the same on the other side, a little mark. So you've got two little marks. And then maybe allow your thumb and a little bit and do a dot in the eye, somewhere in the eye. And now you're going to draw in again. You're going to do a big round, as if you were doing an O, oh, but you're not finishing it because the rest of it would be underneath. And you're going to go round down to that line there. And now you're going to draw. So every time we do eyes, we always have a little reflection. Can you see the white? That's reflection. So we're going to draw a little P-shaped circle. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try and not make it too small to make sure that when we color this in in black, we don't color it all in. You must leave a little bit of white, okay? Try and make it a little bit bigger than you think it should be. Mine's a bit small, I think, already. You can colour it in afterwards, okay? Now, we're going to do another line that goes round the eye. Can you see it's got two lines going round? So start on the edge of the eye, and you just do a number line jump over the eye, and just almost hit the eye again. So it just went over, round, and hit the eye. And now you come round again, from the bottom maybe, from the side, I don't mind too much, and round up and down. And you might not have space, so just hit the side of the eye. That's fine. So you've got one eye. Look at you with one Simba eye. Now we're going to do Simba's other eye. Put in two or three fingers. Remember, my fingers are bigger than yours. And go along. So if you have a pencil, it's going to be at the same level, and you do a dot. So this is the dot to show this corner of his eye, okay? And then you're going to do, maybe not as big as this one, you're going to maybe, for you now, do two fingers. For me, it's less than two fingers. And you do another dot. And you join them with a little smile again, okay? Now you put your fingers, you're going to make it the same height. So if this is up here, if you find it easier, you can run your finger along and do a dot. The dot should be about the middle. So if you find your middle of this line, you go up and you've got your dot. Or if you use three fingers, you use three fingers. And then you join your dot 
to the eye here. Okay, and you come down and round as if you're drawing a nut. But on this side, we're going to make it slightly different because it's the side of his head here. So instead of just coming down again exactly the same, come round and in a little bit and then out, if you can. Doesn't matter if you can't, but if you can. Then we're going to do the base of his eye, so here. So you're going to draw another little line that goes along the bottom. And now you're going to do his pupil, the black bit. So come in about a pencil or a little less than a pinky, do a little line. And then maybe up about your thumb a bit more. Try and make it about the same size as this one. So look at this eye. Mine's going to be about the same. And then you join it in a big circle. Okay. And then we're going to leave the do the little P shape again for our reflection. Make sure it's on this side, not this side, this side of this eye. And then you color that in. Or I'm going to color it in, but you can color this in later if you want. You can start now with your pencil and then you do it later, okay? And then we're going to add one line that goes round and hits the eye. So you just follow the shape round and then another line. That's quite tight here, so just start the line on the other eye. So start on this line, up and round. Okay? Now we're going to do his ear. So come back to this eye and near the top, allow about a thumb away and put a dot. And then come down all the way down nearly to the bottom of the eye and do another dot. It's about a finger away. So you've got one dot at the top and one dot near the bottom of the eye about a finger away. Okay. And now we're going to do a dot for the top of his ear. We're going to do a dot for the top of his ear up here. Okay. We're going to do a dot for the top of his ear. And you're going to go up the hill, up the hill, okay, and now you're going to come round and join this dot, so don't worry too much, just remember you're going up the hill, this space is about two or two, three fingers for you, and then you're going to come down, round, imagine you were drawing a giant uh, part of a duh, round up to the dot, so you've got a big round ear. Okay, now allow about a thumb from there and do a little dot. Can you see? So it's not quite halfway. And then it doesn't really matter. You're just going to have fun. You're going to go up the slide and round to the edge. Goes up the slide and round. And then you're going to add a potato shape. To add the potato shape, come into this line. So follow this line down a little bit and stop and do a little line. And then come to where you started and you do a little line and then you're going to come round. There. Okay. So now we have one ear and this bit will be black, but I'm not going to color it in yet. I'll just put some marks so that you can see that it will be black. Okay. Now we're going to do the top of his fuzzy head. The top of his fuzzy head. So you're going to put a dot up here and you're going to join it with, you're going to start the curve. You're going up. So don't go straight across, go up. And now you're going to do four dinosaur teeth. One, two, three, Four. Now, I might need a fifth one to get to my dot. So to do the dinosaur teeth, you go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to do his other ear. Okay. I'm going to put a start near the bottom of his eye. And... Just above this eye here, I'm going to do a dot about a thumb away. It's quite close to my dinosaur tooth. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to go up the slide about two fingers. 
Okay, so I've gone up the slide just a little bit. And then I'm going to come all the way around as well. Drawing, imagine you're drawing like the best curly cut ever. Oh, the best cuff a cat ever. All the way down to your dot. And there you've got an eye. Now we're going to do his nose, his little silly nose. So his nose allow about a finger space between the eye, below the eye, and find the middle of this eye and do a dot. And then allow about two or three fingers, so it shouldn't come over underneath this eye, if you can avoid it. Doesn't matter if it does. You've got two lines and you join them with a little smile. And now you're going to join them with, you're going to make it a little potato shape. You're going to go round and around and all the way back. So you've got like a little sausage. Imagine you're drawing a sausage. And now you're going to have his little nostrils, which are two little number line jumps. Yes, two little number line jumps. And then in the nose, you've got a line that's now find the middle of his nose and bring a line that comes down about one pinky finger. And then a little, we're going to make his smile. You see this smile here? Just draw a smile that goes out beyond his nose, if you can. So imagine you're drawing a line to make a smile, something happy, think of something happy, and it goes beyond his nose. On this side, you're going to draw another smile, so another curved line, but it stops. Doesn't go as far, it's smaller. Stops near the edge of his nose. Okay. And now underneath, you're going to do his chin. So allow about one thumb or a thumb and a finger for you and do a dot. And then do quite a big smile. Got your big smile. And now we're going to look at where his ear is and you're going to join this line all the way up to his ear. See if you can do that without using any dots. You go up the slide and then I'm going to come out and round, but it doesn't matter if you find that too hard. I'm going to come out and round, okay? And now I'm going to do the same from this eye. I'm going to come down on the edge of the ear. I'm going to hit wherever I did my line for my mouth. So I'm going to come out a bit to the edge of the mouth. So you come round and to wherever you did the edge of the smile. And then I join my two lines. And there I've got my simper. And then you can add some detail inside the eye, like this little line, uh, the ear. So you can add another little slide. You go from the edge of the eye, up the slide and round. And then you add your other, it's like a jelly bean shape, isn't it? Come inside this line a little bit, down and round. And then this bit is the bit that's dark, yes? And then you can add some whiskers. So he's got three whiskers. One, two, three, oh, sorry, four on this side, four. And four on this side, one, two, three, four. And if you want to close his mouth off here, this line, don't have to, but if you want to try and do that, go to the edge of the nose, go up just a little bit, so just about a pinky finger up in a line and then bring that line down so that it touches the edge of his mouth. So it comes down and then it comes round and touches his cheek. And then this edge of the nose, you join it to the corner of his eye. And there you've got your Simba. And if you want to add one more piece of detail, you add these two little wrinkles here and another little dinosaur tooth in his head, maybe. Okay, and there you've got your Simba. I look forward to seeing your fabulous Simbas, my superstars, okay? Well done, and I look forward to seeing them all.